talk to me nice YouTube I'm J star and I'm here to bring you another video on the 2021 purple e move cruiser this one will be a quick one this is just pertaining to the tow ability I took it upon myself to buy the tow handle from Voro Motors um, I always say that weird it's like a tongue twister Voro Motors um, because I don't want to always fold and collapse the scooter when I'm only going up one or two flights of stairs or coming back down or doing quick errands. And this scooter is heavy. And when you try to lift it by the base with one hand and the stem or the handle or even the, the neck area with the other hand, it's still inconvenient. So I wanted to make it as convenient as possible for myself so that I can enjoy the overall ride and experience but at the same token, you know, like not have to go through extra work. Now, is the scooter easily foldable? Absolutely. But what I've learned about scooters, and it doesn't matter which scooter, and I don't know if this is going to be any different, is that with time, the pins and the mechanisms, sometimes they break, sometimes they collapse or they get loosened. And I want to have as minimal maintenance work as I possibly can. I'm a handyman by trade, so of course I don't mind it. However, I still want to make sure I do it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, unbox, well, unwrap this rather. And, uh, and it should be a real simple process. Uh, it's just a, uh, removing two Allen screws that come with the scooter and then reinstalling the newer ones. Uh, it's a pretty big handle. bubble wrap I have to give them credit for murders because I ordered this and one of the other reasons why I also ordered is because it was to me affordable I know that the going price for this item was I think at one point like $45 from what I was told but right now they have it for $29 and with shipping and taxes it comes up to I think like $40 on the dot well I can tell you this right now this is strong this is definitely steel I would say yeah, I would say so. This is really, really strong. So I can, I can already see that that's going to be pretty cool. But it doesn't even go like that. It goes like this, and then this is the actual handle. There you go. It comes with four Allen screws, and these are all, I believe. No, two of them are a little bit bigger. I guess these are for the handle, the smaller ones, and then. The bigger ones are for the base. So I use my own. The multi kit that it comes with, you know, the scooter is pretty good, but it's not the best. So I use my own Allen key set. I have multiple, but this one is my go to. Uh, it's my all around carry. I'm not sure of the size, so let's go ahead. Oh, I picked the right size at the very beginning. So that would be a six. A six Allen screw for the base. And let's go ahead and see. I'm not sure if they lock tight this or anything, but let's go ahead and see. I want to make sure this is wiped down. Well, that wasn't actually hard at all. wasn't hard to crack the seal that, to open it, but it's got a couple of rotations to get it off. And that's this screw that it comes with. I'm not going to discard it just in case I ever want to take the toe out, even though I don't think I will. I'll be doing a lot of traveling with this and I know I'm not going to want to always fold it and unfold it. So, you know, it's good to have if I do decide to change it or let's say I'm not happy with the look because most people they want something aesthetically pleasing as well and they will sacrifice the comfort or the convenience for for that comfort so pretty much when you're looking at this base there's like a little like a little curve and you got to match that curve with 
the actual thing. Let me wipe this down, it's microfiber towel. I wanna make sure this is flush and I don't want no dirt to interfere with that. A lot of it goes far but I'm not mad about that because you know you want the screw to be long and you want it to be able to hold this down because all the lifting like I said this is 52 pounds the last thing you want to do is have something like this to help you but at the end of the day it ends up breaking the frame or something so I'm not even mad that there's so many rotations to get the to get it on properly all right that side is good tight but not overbearing and this side is almost good all right and pretty much this would be the handle part and uh, let's see I want to make sure It's like a little like lip. I'm assuming that's to guide you. We're gonna find out right now. There you go. You gotta you gotta play with it a little bit, and then you could feel it grab. But that lip does do the job though. Like there's a little lip in the act, like a concave in the top part of it, on the inside, so that when you're pulling up, it doesn't go out. It's I'm always very careful when I use Allen keys as far as when it gets to the tightening process because you never want to strip it and you want to tighten it, but all right, there you have it. So quick install, took a couple minutes once you get it out of the wrapper and then pretty much, oh, that makes a big, big difference. Like that is already so helpful. It's going to be so much more helpful for me. But there you have it. Thank you for watching. Catch me on the flip side.